Cedric, uh, you were up in uh, Arlington watching the Cowboy game, and ooh, that was a little bit of a snoozer. Uh, even though Dallas escaped Tampa Bay in a real snoozer of a game, uh, what did Dallas show you, and do you feel like they have legitimate concerns for the season? Yeah, they have huge concerns. They showed me that they can stop people. The defense played really well. Those cornerbacks, Brandon Carr and Morris Claiborne, are, are really good. A big upgrade over last right. year. Mike Jenkins seems to be comfortable in the nickel slot, but I think – I think they're going to have some problems offensively. That offensive line cannot keep Tony Romo clean. Right. He took some big shots from Roy Miller and Gerald McCoy yesterday. And I think I think it's going to be one of those things where they're going to have to shore up the protections mm -hmm. to protect the most important person right. on that team. Because if Tony Romo goes down, right. I think the whole season goes down with him. And there seem to be communication issues with Romo and his receivers. Uh, you know, Witten, Miles Austin, Dez Bryant, Ogletree, and I don't know, you think there's some timing issues there with those? There's some timing issues, there's some offensive line protection issues, and any time a quarterback gets hit early and often, that kind of that kind of short circuits the whole operation because he's not thinking as clearly right. as, as he would have, and Romo took some concussion-like shots. I thought that that he would been, had been knocked right. out cold and he actually got up and I was like, man, he's still in there. So they're going to have to shore that up or they're going to be in a lot yeah. of trouble. They've got the win against Tampa Bay, yeah. but the games only get tougher starting with the Chicago Bears coming in on Monday night. And, and real quickly, uh, New Orleans Saints break out of the gate 0-3. Are they in trouble or is this just a momentary a diversion? Well, a good friend of mine uh, told me in the offseason that he thought the Saints would take a step back. Uh, he's ugly, but he's smart, and I'm not going <laughs> to mention who he is. He said he thought the Saints might not make the playoffs this year, and I think I think that he was on point. I think Drew Brees missing the offseason hurt the chemistry of this team, and with no Sean Payton out with that suspension for a year, they don't have a person that can get Brees back where Brees needs to be. I think the New Orleans Saints are looking at a five or six win season. Yeah, I think you're right, too. And lastly, the Longhorns really kind of stood up front and center. Justin Tucker, uh, the winning kick. Yeah, I guess it was the winning uh, kick. Well, according to the replacement ref, it was a winning kick. <laughs> yeah, that's all they counted, right? Yeah. And Jamal Charles, what a day he had with the Chiefs. Yeah, I'm limping around today, and I need to call Jamal Charles' surgeon because that guy looked great, 233 yards, 91-yard touchdown run in the Superdome. All, I need to, all, all I'd like to say is I wish he was on my fantasy league team because yeah. my team is awful. He's beating me. We'll see Whatever. you next week.